Hello, this is Martin Platt from InternetMarketingSuit.com. Today I'm going to go through a quick little presentation on how to test with Google Analytics experiments. So what is testing? Well, in a nutshell, it's basically having a number of pages and allowing your visitors to show you which one is the most effective at achieving your chosen goal. There are two types of testing. There's what they call A-B testing or split testing, which is where you vary just one element on a page. So for example, you would, um, if you were concentrating on the, the headline, for example, you would change the text on the headline to test which headline is the most effective of maybe a, a number of them, but the, the, you're very, uh, you're very, it's very clear then that, 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 is, that the result is due to that. Whereas if you have a multivariate testing, that's where you vary a number of things on between pages. So that could be, for example, the layout changing completely, for example, for a squeeze page or, or for, a, um, for a landing page. Um, so why would you test? Well, you know, when you, when you put together your, uh, your site, you probably think it's the best thing since sliced bread. You get, you get very sort of stuck in your cocoon of, uh, of, um, uh, uh, self awesomeness, if you like. Um, so, um, what you, what you need to do basically is to, to give the visitors who are the people who are going to be ultimately achieving your goals and making your sales to tell you which is the best, uh, way to, to get them to achieve those goals. So, so with testing, you, you need to keep you need to keep testing uh, continuously with different uh, different layouts, so you can find if you can improve on things and if there's something that's just that's just more effective. You know, for example, you you may be getting say a a ten percent conversion rate. Now, if there's a a layout out there that could give you maybe a fifty percent conversion rate, you'd want to look for it, wouldn't you? I mean, it, the bigger your list, that's going to have a massive, uh, a massive impact on your uh, your sales. So, what do you want to improve? Well, as I said, that's uh, that, that that's the goal. So, uh, you may want to uh, make more money. You may want to get more people to to subscribe to your list. You may want more clicks. You may want higher conversion rates. You can test all of these different things. Um, and this is actually done by setting up a goal in analytics. So what do you test? Well, I've just mentioned the headline. The reason why that one's important is because that's that's the thing that's going to attract most people to your site. So if it's if it's weak, if it's not really got anything that sounds interested in it, people just won't click on it. So you can test a few different ones, ones that are you know very high impact, like I made a million dollars with this one click of a button versus um, look at how I make money online or something like that. Um, I mean, those are two very extremes. Um, you could also test your call to action. So that could be buy now, subscribe, um, get my free report here, you know, this sort of thing. Um, you can test images, which would be the size of images, the types of images. You can test the styling, so themes and buttons and colors, particularly. Um, if your theme is uh, but ugly, then you're obviously going to get a lot of people clicking away from your site very quickly. Um, so you're you're there going to be testing the fundamentals of the site, and this is going to be applicable potentially across your whole site. Um, you may also want to test the page balance, so that's the length of the page and the amount of or density of the, the text. Um, you may f find that people um, don't really want to read a lot of text, so you may want to add white space, or it may be that they do. It may be that it's a, a very um, research-oriented uh, uh, topic and uh, they want all the information and sort of doing only half may actually get them to click away and go this is this is very poor um, you may want to test the prices and you may want to test the content that you write so that would be your potentially your headings and the layout of the overall page in terms of um, 
in terms of how things are ordered you may have you know big images small amount of text uh, small images big amount of text all text all images so let's test so you need first of all a Google Analytics account if you haven't got one then sign up now that's at www.google.com forward slash analytics you also need uh, to set up your site in analytics um, so if you go to internetmarketingsuit.com forward slash go forward slash analytics forward slash how to set up that will actually take you to a Google Analytics uh, page to tell you how to do that um, you also need uh, to to have your uh, your pages that you're going to test against so you need the original at least one variation um, and you need a goal so um, then that, that's basically just to work to to be able to uh, make sure that you're optimizing against the right thing so all right let's go and have a look at the uh, the pages first of all that I've got for you so let me just click that over there so this is squeeze one so this is the original page looks a little bit different actually than what it does when it renders this is one of the variations so there's the addition of the of the little picture of the guy and we've also got another one where the the layout considerably changes and it's down the screen instead so let's have a look at that and the final one is the thank you page now I've only put this on here but it's not because we're testing the the look of the the thank you page this is just the basically the goal and the reason for this is that um, when you reach this page on your site it means you've achieved your goal and this uh, page can be reached by um, confirming your opt-in for your subscription to the list so that's how that works so let's go over to Google Analytics and have a look there oh, I've been doing this already so first of all you click create experiment so here's the uh, here's the URL so that's the, the URL of my original page and there we see it so now let's look at start experimenting and if we type in here um, Oops. squeeze test so that's your original one now because the variations only change by a number I'll put another one in here and we'll change that to 2 and then we'll add another variation by clicking the add variation link and we'll make that 3 so there's the three vari variations that you saw me show you before. So click save and next. So here we need to set the the goal for the the test. So for example, I've got two of them actually. I've got one that uh, that I can test against the um, requested opt-ins. So that's the, there's basically a confirmation page um, that's the, the URL goal, and this one is. Um, when they're subscribed so that's the thank you page so that's when you've confirmed your opt-in and that's the one that I'm interested in um, you can also make notes in here and there are some advanced options in there for uh, basically statistical options um, but we won't go into that now because this is a very uh, simple test so we'll click save and next um, and then we're saying okay we now need to add our experiment code so we copy that now I'll just draw your attention to this you need to make sure that you've got Google Analytics on the three pages um, that you, you're testing against so if you haven't click that link and uh, it'll tell you how to do it it's very easy you just copy and paste in some a smaller amount of code than this and then this one here is going into the top under the head tag at the top of the original page so I'll copy that and we'll go into the page original page number one code I've done this before can you tell and save that and then we go
go into a um, we'll go into our uh, FTP software. Delete that just to make sure it's the right one. Copy a new one across. Go back to analytics. Save and next. It now checks. Everything is absolutely fantastic. So you have to hit the excellent button. A um, bit of a strange name for a button, but never mind. Um, so we'll click that. And that then shows me my three variations when they load. There we go. Um, and says all of my visitors, um, two weeks testing at least, um, confidence threshold, don't need to worry about any of those, you can make some more notes if you want. And uh, then if we click run experiment, then uh, we're, uh, we're all running. We just need to wait for the two weeks to elapse and the results to be uh, obtained. And the, basically what it is, is uh, that it, it needs some, uh, t some statistically um, relevant results so if you're only getting one or two visitors a day it's going to take you longer than two weeks to do this whereas if you you're getting uh, you know hundreds or thousands of visitors a day um, then this is going to be this is going to happen much much quicker so we go to the experiments list so that's all my uh, experiments and you can see that this one is now running um, so Good luck with your testing and uh, let me know if you uh, if you have any problems and I'll see what can help you out. Thank you.